We also have one for Mrs. Narissa Underwood. I didn't forget this time. College, Mrs. Mary O'Connor. Thank you, and see you, Massey. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Congresswoman Bordaglio, and uh, uh, thank you all for coming, distinguished guests, members of the faculty, members of the general Guam community, uh, members of the Board of Regents. I have to keep reminding myself that they are my boss and they never let me forget. <laughs> and uh, also, of course, members of the Guam legislature, particularly uh, this week because we're reviewing all the budgets. <laughs> so thank you so much for being here. It means that you're here and not reviewing my budget, right? <laughs> um, uh, really, uh, this, is, uh, the, this uh, presidential lecture series is an, an opportunity uh, that we try to provide uh, for a variety of opinions and a variety of perspectives from people, uh, persons of accomplishments who have something to contribute. And so uh, we're very fortunate today to have uh, Congressman uh, Nick Rahal of uh, Beckley, West Virginia. He represents the 3rd Congressional District. Uh, he for, was first elected in 1976. He's currently uh, serving his 17th term and is the Dean of the West Virginia Delegation to the U.S. House of Representatives. Uh, Nick is also the chair, of the, he's currently the chair of the Committee on Natural Resources, which has oversight over many things that we do, not only as, a, as an insular area, but also in terms of fisheries, oceans, wildlife, national parks. He has uh, strong oversight on, that committee has oversight over that, and he is vice chair of the Committee on Transportation and Infrastructure. He was, uh, last night he was sharing a story that he did a, uh, a jump out of an airplane, and uh, so that now inspires me to consider that. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to find the person that taught him how to jump, or that actually jumped in tandem with him. Uh, but, uh, you know, he, he, um, uh, he, he's a highly respected member. I can just speak from personal experience. He's highly respected. And, and he's highly respected because he's respectful of other members. And that's really uh, an important feature of uh, being an effective member of Congress uh, and the leader that he is. Also note that he's a 33rd degree Mason and he's a lifetime member of the National Rifle Association Elks, Moose, and the NAACP. What a combination of organizations. <laughs> That's quite a combination of organizations. So it's uh, my honor and my privilege to uh, welcome Congressman Nick Rahoff to the NAACP. Thank you very much, my dear friend Bob Underwood and former colleague in the Congress of the United States. I appreciate the kind introduction and the invitation to be here on the campus, beautiful campus, the University of Guam, and, and speak as part of your presidential lecture series. To the President of Community College, Mary Okada, to the Superintendent, Dr. Narisa Underwood, with whom we just had a, a delightful meeting and learned of a lot of the issues confronting uh, the respective campuses and the education community here on the uh, island. I appreciate their time. Uh, certainly, it's a delight to once again see the Speaker of the House, Judy Wampat, uh, whose late father I also served with in the Congress of the United States, and to see so many senators here. Once again, I guess it's a relief from their budget deliberations because they received us yesterday when we arrived uh, and seemed to be especially delighted, and I found out later why, because they were getting into a kind of a touchy part of the debate discussion, I guess, on the, on the budget, and, and we're relieved that they had a diversion for a moment. So. To the legislature, we appreciate the time you spent with us, to your acting governor, Michael Cruz, who also met us, uh, to your first lady, uh, Joanne Camacho. Uh, we really appreciate the hospitality with which we've been received here on Guam. It has been uh, uh, a long trip because we started in Delegate Kenny Fambuego's district of uh, American Samoa. We went on to Palau, 
and we were in your neighbor's uh, territory, Kalili Saban's uh, CMI, and now uh, we are here in Guam for uh, the recognition of where America's day begins. And we certainly want to salute uh, our military forces, Rear Admiral Beasel, uh, for the tremendous work you and, and all of our military personnel have done. We laid the wreath this morning at the uh, Pacific War Memorial, and uh, we've done that, we did that at the CMI, CMI as well. You know, uh, I, I recall serving with Dr. Underwood very well in the Congress of the United States. Uh, he did an excellent job there. He's doing an excellent job here at the university. But you're certainly in great hands under his leadership. Uh, to the students that may be here, uh, you have no better advocate on your behalf than Dr. Robert Underwood. As a matter of fact, uh, one of the first pieces of legislation that he got passed in the Congress of the United States was creating the Aspen Bay Overlook uh, as part of that uh, memorial that we laid the wreath this morning. And uh, he was a very effective advocate for you. So it's an honor for me to be leading this delegation. And it's an honor for me to be speaking before the faculty and deans and uh, students of the University of Guam. It is in your hands that the future of our country rests and we appreciate so much, so much, especially the faculty and the staff, what you do on behalf of the youth of our great country. Uh, it is truly uh, you that affect the eternity of their lives, and it is you that they will remember as they progress and become successful members of our society. Uh, our delegation has been tremendous. I mentioned a couple of them already, uh, Representative Henry Brown, and his wife Billy from uh, South Carolina uh, have been uh, tremendous advocates uh, of our responsibilities that we have on our committee on natural resources. And I'm, I'm very honored that they can be with us. I've mentioned Congressman uh, Andy Falbawega from American Samoa uh, and his wife uh, Hina, who is with us as well. Uh, to Delegate Donna Christensen, no stranger to your island uh, and an expert on the issues that affect your island. And then uh, your neighbor, your neighbor. Uh, Kalili Sedlan. These are not only friends, but they are friends of Guam, and they are individuals who have a great deal of expertise and professionalism on the issues that affect you. Our committee does have broad jurisdiction over our environment, our oceans, our wildlife, our energy and minerals, our national parks, and matters affecting Native, uh, Native Americans as well. We oversee policies related to the insular areas and the territorial possessions of the United States, and during my tenure as chairman, I have advocated extensively about the many issues important to the people of the territories. Uh, as Bob mentioned, I was first elected to the House back in 1976 to represent the people of Southern West Virginia. Not only do I serve on the Natural Resources Committee, but as Bob mentioned, I also serve uh, on the Committee on Transportation and Infrastructure as its vice chairman as well, which oversees our national transportation policy and as we speak is engaged in the uh, reauthorization of our highway trust fund that funds our many different modes of transportation. We're paying particularly close attention to the reauthorization of the territorial highway program to meet the modern transportation needs right here on Guam, especially as it pertains to the military buildup. And I would point out that I am pretty much familiar with most of the federal issues important to your community uh, due to my close working relationship over the years uh, with your delegates that have represented you uh, in the Congress. Uh, I've, I've mentioned Congressman Juan Pat, Congressman Blas, Ben Blas, I served with him, Congressman Underwood, and now uh, a lady that has just so much energy uh, that uh, it's hard to really describe, it's hard to keep up with her, uh, and not only is it she energetic in her movements and uh, the, the vast schedule that she's arranged for us, but she's energetic in promoting uh, issues that affect Guam as well. Madeline Badalio has been a tremendous advocate, uh, a dear, dear friend of mine as well. And I want to thank her for the tremendous leadership that she's provided this Codell and provided our Committee on Natural Resources as Chair Lady of the Committee on Insular Affairs, uh, Oceans, Fisheries, and Wildlife. So let's do that. <laughs>